and welcome to Brighter Kashmir Interviews. I am Danish bin Nabi. My today's guest is the Vice Chancellor of Central University of Kashmir, Professor Mehrajuddin Mir. I shall be asking him about various issues concerning CUK. Mr. Vice Chancellor, warm welcome to Brighter Kashmir Interviews. Thank you, Danish Sahib. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So, Jinaab, aap shuru kar lije aur farmaye kis uh, kya mujhe... Let me, let me start by your personal oh. life. You have a vast experience academically as hmm. well as uh, administrate. You have been also an administrator. Do you uh, feel satisfied with your uh, performance? Yes, uh, Dhani sahab, bhoot achha question aapne mi se poochha aur jiske liye mujhe bhoot jyada time chahe lekin briefly mein kuch hmm. yaan par maktasar mein kuch arz karunga aapko. Khuda ka shukur hai, mashallah, I am going to touch 70 years of my age. I started my education in a primary school uh, in the downtown uh, and then again did my uh, matric from Islamia High School, Srinagar. I did my graduation from Islamia College of Science and Commerce and thereafter got admission at AMU Aligarh in the Faculty of Law. I did uh, my LLB. LM and PhD from Aligarh and when I completed my studies way back in 1976 I got an appointment I got an opportunity to work in the University of Kashmir in the Department of Law I started my career as a lecturer in law way back in 1976 and Dhani Saab briefly speaking I continued in the University of Kashmir and got the opportunity to work on various assignments in addition of taking classes I superinated from the University of Kashmir in 2011 October and again got the opportunity to join the Central University of Kashmir Faculty of uh, school, school of Legal, Legal Studies and here I remained as a Dean and then got an opportunity to officiate as a Vice Chancellor for about uh, two years it was almost one year and uh, 10 11 months and thereafter I was appointed as a Vice Chancellor of this Central University of Kashmir. MashaAllah with the grace of Almighty I completed my tenure of five years but uh, ministry has granted extension to me and I am going to complete seven years of my tenure as a Vice Chancellor on 2nd of March. Uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor you have shifted your departments to Gandharbal now. Yes, yes. How much time would it take to develop all these departments? Uh, Dhani sahab, uh, all this very question which you have posed, it has its own history and geography. In the sense, as you know it, the Central University of Kashmir came into being way back in 2010, along with other 14 universities in the country. And immediately when this was established in a rented house somewhere in uh, Hadarpura, uh, agitation started in Jammu, they uh, made a, they asked for a separate university for Jammu. Accordingly, a separate university was granted to Jammu, known as Central University of Jammu. Till then, both uh, the universities were kept on hold. The Central University of Kashmir started it as functioning with some departments, teaching departments in uh, Magarmalbag, in uh, Swanwar, in then in Navgam because Mr. Vice Chancellor, it's a long story. Now the departments have shifted. Yes, just, just, just I'm coming. Yes, you Can are you right. Can you kindly briefly yes, touch yes, upon I, it? Yes, I will. I will just. I am just. I will jump. I will jump from what kindly I am saying. Uh, I will take a big jump. Well, Dani Sab, as I said, uh, uh, the university expanded so far as it is academic programs are concerned, and we had no option but to take more and more buildings on rentals. Finally, uh, uh, we decided with the help of the then state government and uh, we were given some uh, uh, structures at Gandharbal and we shifted almost all the, all, all the departments to Gandharbal. At present in Gandharbal, we are operating at four places. One is this where you are at present known as Green Campus. Then is the second is at Nunar. The third one is what we call as Old Hospital. Now we call it as a Science and Arts Campus. And the main is at Tulumula. Main is at Tulumula. Well, I must tell you, Danisa, which is very much relevant over here, that uh, as I said, we were born with 14 universities way back in 2010. But uh, nevertheless, our flag on academics out of these 14 universities is very high, very high. But we have failed 
I have failed rather than I must say so far as the raising of infrastructure is concerned. You have failed? Yes. You I accept do. it? You have failed uh, as yes, far as the infrastructure I, yes, of development I, is yes, concerned? Yes, I do admit it. I do confess it. I have given it in black and white. In fact, uh, we used to have every year a meeting with the Honorable President of India who is our visitor and there too I have every time confessed that we could not make any progress so far as infrastructure and is concerned. Did the president of India respond to it? They tried their best and I will also tell you a very important question and when I mean the president of India it means there were other key functionaries of the Dadian uh, Ministry of Human Resources Development and now the Ministry of Education. Everyone acted but you missed the important question. You should have asked me a question why you have failed. And I am the go <laughs> why, why we have failed. Uh, Not only why you have failed what are the hiccups? Ha, yes, that is a mean. You see, in fact, as what they did, the first and the four question, uh, most question, important question is why we failed. The land which has been allowed to us at Tulumla, it is a big chunk of land near about uh, 5,000 canals, means around 488 acres. Marshy land. It is marshy land, it is full of water bodies, and when a contract was given initially to one of the central, uh, central government department known as CPWD. They were initially requested to raise a wall, compound wall, which uh, uh, the initial estimated cost was around 9 crores. They built it only 10% of the wall and thereafter they stopped the work, came with the revised estimate of 26 crores and whatever 10% they had raised that tilted and developed some creek. Vice Chancellor of CUK, what have you done as to vice stop it? As vice, Chancellor, as vice Chancellor of this, uh, this university, as a responsible officer of this university, we have referred the case to the ministry and the ministry took the cognizance. They have referred it to the CVC, Central Vigilance Commission at that point of time and uh, uh, they have been taken to the TOSIC. I am not concerned what punishment has been accorded. The basic point which is our here is we have suffered and concerned what punishment they have been given. No, I'm, my concern is basically my focus was that I should get something by what did you get? Uh, uh, that is why I am coming to this. That is they, they could not do it and obviously our uh, relation came to an end with the CPWD and now the minister is dealing with them. And uh, Vice Chancellor, let us move forward. Crores of uh, funds have lapsed. How detrimental has it been? Yes, you are right. Crores of rupees have uh, lapsed. In fact, uh, I must also confess Till date, uh, till we were in the rental buildings, we have paid near about more than 26 crores by way of rentals. And initially, there was a huge chunk of money with us for raising infrastructure, which we could not uh, utilize. And uh, it was kept with us for about uh, three years, that sanction. But finally, we had to surrender that money back to the uh, ministry. And uh, that has the basic, then what we did, one is uh, we were provided these uh, people came on the roads from Gandharbal. They said the university has been allotted to Gandharbal and why it is functioning in the rental buildings. And as I said, at that point of state government came uh, into action, a high level meeting was held, which was uh, presided over by the then Honorable Education Minister, Mr. Bukhari. And a day, uh, by Chief Secretary was there, Education Commissioner was there, Divisional Commissioner was, DC was also called. And finally, these structures were given to us. And here also, what we did, it was not sufficient. This accommodation was not sufficient for two or three different vice chancellor the moot point is that the infrastructure the funds everything has failed am i right you are right eh? you are right eh? you are right moot point is there but uh, i would like to complete this what i was saying finally what we did we raised the infrastructure over here which almost has been in a position to cater to the need present need of our existing departments and regarding what this important question is that since it is not the fault of the central university of kashmir it is the fault of the marcy land uh, from all the authorities it was our responsibility to inform them the basic point over here was that the foundation cost which comes for the construction at this marcy land is 
near about 40 to 42 percent which the government of india said we are not ready to provide it then i come back to it before you ask the next question the another question which you asked earlier is then what was done by the uh, ministry when we informed them they wrote a letter to the then honorable chief, chief minister with the request that some alternate not be provided because it is not possible to raise uh, the structures vertical structures at the given land with the limited amount of the funds but the state government said it is not possible for us to provide a big chunk of land anywhere it is not available so far as district gandharbal is concerned as an administrator, what is the way forward? What is the way out of yes, all this? The way forward is uh, we approached the state government at that point of time. We approached the central government and made an earnest request that we be given at least some additional 1000 kilometers of land which is a load bearing quality land and finally this was carried by the then chief minister he who came on spot late mufti sahab and it was carried by the district uh, board of gandharbal and we as a part of that we have recently been allotted a quality load bearing land near about 90 or more than 90 kilometers of land near this watla watla that's not the marshy land that is not the marsh land that as i said that is a quality land but load who had demanded about thousand canals that is instead true. of thousand canals you only got 90 canals yes you are because we continue with our demand but for me something is better than nothing nothing mr vice chancellor let's come to students now since the university has been shifted to gandharbal we have seen a steady decline in the enrollment of students what are the major factors in it? No, you are wrong. So far as your disinformation is concerned, kindly go through the figures, you will find our enrollment, despite many issues which our students are confronting, genuine issues, genuine challenges they are facing, and for which uh, partly university is responsible to a great extent. It may be in terms of the hostel facility, it may be in terms of the transport facility, it may be in terms of any other student-centric facility. The students do face uh, difficulties on these counts. But I am sorry to Madhav, respond to you, you have a wrong information. Our enrollment is going up and our enrollment as on date is highest than that of other central universities which came into work with us. Chancellor, please name the figure. What is the highest? What do you mean by highest? Highest, highest is, uh, it is uh, what is intake sanctioned in our favor. What is the intake? Please yes. give me a number. I can give the department wise. You name any department, take biotechnology. All the seats are filled up. We have a demand. Take the department of zoology, take the department of chemistry, take the department of law, take the department of management, take the department of cop, take any department, except two departments. Except two departments where uh, I have cautioned them and they are trying their best. That is the, uh, in fact, in those two departments also now, the enrollment has touched the given intake capacity. Which are the two departments? They were earlier the Islamic studies and now we have changed it into uh, that was comparative religion now we have uh, enrolled for islamic studies we got a good number and there was some issue with the uh, urdu they have been in a position to come up to the target and even earlier there was a problem with uh, what we call uh, uh, department of english they have also come up up to our expectations and off late it was with the media studies uh, because we had an issue with the uh, media uh, this uh, uh, the media center so that they have also come up near to the target if we see uh, no higher educational institution is fingering is figuring in law in 100 uh, ranks mm -hmm. no institution yes, in india right. Wha right. what are the reasons uh, you are talking of all india scenario yes you are right uh, and uh, it is a concern and it is being this issue is being echoed in almost every vice chancellor's meet uh, whenever it takes place the basic reason is the universities in india by and large have failed to contribute so far as quality research is concerned even the old universities and uh, which, which were even established before 1947 the basic uh, reason for this is that perhaps uh, our focus in the this subcontinent has been on mushroom growth of educational institutions rather than quality teaching learning and research 
and in this regard do you think the new education policy would help a new education policy to a great extent if you examine it in a very critical uh, with a critical analysis it is going to help to a great extent because it has provided many opportunities to the students first and the foremost if you can spell out is uh, there is a flexible approach uh, there is no cap uh, cap in the sense that you will have to complete your course within the given uh, uh, time then there is no cap so far as your selection of the uh, subjects is concerned you are at liberty to uh, select urdu along with botany and In other words neep is the visionary step taken by the yes, president. president and more or less uh, it is going to establish what we call a linkage between the lower education and the higher education which is a need of the hour many students have to leave the jammu and kashmir rather the kashmir valley and move outside for the studies how can we make it better for our students so that they do not leave the valley you see you have a common problem as we are facing over the decades in this part of the world which perhaps you as a student might have also suffered not only as a student but as a citizen uh, whatever your age may be every one us of us is confronting all these issues regarding this first and foremost of late you had the problem of internet you had the you have the problem of electricity you have the problem of various basic facilities which you need as a citizen and some specific facilities which you need as a student basic and specific facilities we need for us uh, for the for our students so that they do not leave the valley am i right obviously and then to provide more and more courses and more or more opportunities why aren't we doing that Now you see if you take your own this ut now ut of jammu and kashmir you will find that here also the there is a expansion of the higher education system there is a expansion of the collegiate education there is a expansion of the primary education but expansion What? is one thing but you on the right. gross root level things doesn't go the, the right. way that right. needs to be do for that purpose my take is we all are responsible we as parents who as teachers at the grassroots level then you can blame uh, the uh, funding agency i mean the state or ut uh, whatever the case Before may I be the last segment let's come to the covid recently we have gone through the covid rather we are still in the covid do you see online classes appropriate than the offline classes N not at all they can't replace uh, what we call uh, offline classes online classes can not cuk presently is working in offline mode it is now in offline mode we have a bridged form both online as well as please offline. explain i will explain to you in fact if you remember we have faced many floods in our state you may every every now and then hartal curfew you are not in a position to reach to the classroom your faculty is not in a position to reach to the classroom we had started even 4 5 years back what we call audio video lectures we recorded we used to distribute it to the students and thereafter after this uh, uh, 370 abrogation what we did we prepared audio video lectures internet was down and then after this and covid, distributed. COVID uh, we distributed it was the medium of distribution they used to come off and on the students whenever there was any relaxation or we used to just communicate on phones if it was possible i mean in this covid period not in this uh, post uh, uh, 370 abrogation period and uh, then what we did we went online classes no doubt it was only 2g but to a great extent we could reach i must tell you to near about 65 to 70 percent of our students somewhere down the line did you also reach out to the government for the restoration of 4g we made a demand in different forms we as a vcs we and uh, finally you have got it doesn't matter of late you got it and it was a continuously a demand was made by the vice chancellor to, uh, to the state to the center that this 4g be restored my last good two questions first briefly talk us about where do you see cuk in next 10 years i see cuk inshallah if we continue with the same pace since as i said i have completed my tenure and in case we get some support and we are in a position to raise the infrastructure as i said i do admit again on that count i have failed capital i have failed 
I am sure that it shall be one of the top universities. So Chancellor, Central University of Kashmir, Professor Mehrajuddin Mir has failed as far as infrastructure development is concerned. That, that is true because of the given circumstances which I did explain to you. If not in total I explained to you, I explain. Vice Chancellor, my last question. In the morning when I was coming down here to interview you, there were students outside protesting. The gate was closed. Yes. We had to wait at least for an hour. Yes. outside the gate. Yes, yes, yes. Please explain what was the issue. As I said, uh, perhaps uh, you have not noted that, that must be recorded is that my students have a genuine problems. I told you that may be in terms of the hostel, that may be in terms of what we call... What was hostel. today's problem? Today's problem was they were demanding the hostel accommodation. Since we have resumed our work offline uh, in full swing after a quite long time... Why are you not providing the hostel? We are at it. It will take some time. Again, the uh, same thing. Uh, vice, as a vice chancellor administrator, you have failed as far as you are totally wrong. In this you case, are totally wrong. In this case, I am no, wrong. No, you are totally wrong. In this case, I am wrong. No, no, I said I have failed to raise the infrastructure. Isn't yeah. hostel the infrastructure? No, no, but we are at it. We have provided. There was a hostel in place. Okay. There was a hostel in place. Please don't try to put uh, your words into my mouth. There was a not putting any uh, word into your mouth. It, there, the uh, word failure is your word, no, not no. mine. Yes, failure, I do admit, as I said, in raising the infrastructure so far as universities. Mr. Vice Chancellor, so you are, you are at, you are at it, you are at it. That is none of my fault. That is because of the given land which was given to the Central University of Kerala. That's, that's the one thing. What about today morning? Today morning, the hostel we have, there is some issues are with the hostel. We have to clean it. That was occupied by some protected people. We have taken up the matter with the district administration. Yesterday, the star had a meeting along with the chief warden, with the development commissioner, and we have to uh, sanitize it. We have to clean it. It will take some. Can you can you give the time frame oh, in I how many give, days it would I be done? Give you time. I can't give you time. I can't tell a lie to my students. You cannot lie to your students. Yes. Your students have to wait. We are at it. It can be resolved within, within one day. It can, can be, be resolved, resolved within a a one week. You are at it. We are at it, as I told you. You don't want your students to suffer. Never. Mr. Vice Chancellor, thank you. Mr. Danish, you also noted, you can just collect input from your students. The basic fundamental uh, features of this university is every teacher, every key functionary is accessible to the students. Students at any time, 24 by 7, can reach through email, through WhatsApp, on phone or during the working day to any officer including the vice vice chancellor would not let the students down no, not at all professor mehrajuddin mir sahab thank you very much for thank talking you, to you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much